1852, St. Thomas the Apostle arrived in India bringing the word of God to the people and laid the foundation for the Sri Malabar Catholic Church. 1992, December 16, Pope John Paul II raised the Sri Malabar Catholic Church to the status of Mage Archi Episcopal Church. 1993, May 20th, the first Sri Malabar Synod was inaugurated. Today, amongst the Oriental Catholic Churches, it stands as the second largest church in the world. The Sri Malabar Church currently has five archdioceses, 25 dioceses, three apostolic visitators, one in India, New Zealand and Europe. It's a rapidly growing ecclesiastic community with 4.6 million faithful, 53 bishops, 8,547 priests, 32,114 religious sisters and 1,247 major seminarians. Australia, the land of opportunities and multiculturalism. In the last 20 years, main migration took place from India to the great nation of Australia looking for job opportunities. This migration greatly increased the number of Syro Malabar Catholics in Australia and the community continues to flourish. Pope Francis, the face of the modern church. 2013, December 23rd. Holy Father Pope Francis established the eparchy of St. Thomas, the Apostle of Melbourne of the Syro Malabar Church, with Bishop Bosco Putur as its first eparch. Bishop Putur also was appointed Apostolic Visitator of the Syro Malabar faithful residing in New Zealand. The Oriental Congregation, under the leadership of Leonardo Cardinal Sandri, did a vital role in establishing the eparchy. This establishment of the Syro Malabar eparchy and the appointment of Bishop Bosco Putur marked the beginning of a new era in the Syro Malabar Church in Australia. 2014, March 25th. Bishop Bosco Putur was installed as the first bishop of this eparchy at St. Patrick's Cathedral, Melbourne, presided by the head of the Sierra Malabar Church, Major Archbishop George Cardinal Alan Jerry, in the presence of His Excellency Paul Gallagher, the Apostolic Nuncio to Australia, Archbishop Dennis Hart, Archdiocese of Melbourne, Archbishop Andrew Starrett, Trichur Archdiocese Kerala, and many other bishops, civic and socio cultural leaders. Three years later, the Syro Malabar Church in Australia continues to grow and develop rapidly. There are presently more than 60,000 people, with 22 priests ministering in collaboration with Bishop Bosco, Father Francis Collingeri, the Vigar General and the Pastoral Council. The Latin Church in Australia, especially the Australian Catholic Bishops Conference, supported and encouraged the growth of the Syro Malabar Church, for which we are grateful. The churches we use today are an expression of their love and ongoing generosity towards our community. We remember with gratitude the Syro Malabar priest working in Latin diocese and lay leaders for their ministry and leadership to establish communities across Australia. Our mission 
to accompany the Syro Malabar communities in Australia and New Zealand in their pilgrimage of faith following Jesus Christ by helping them to acquire greater awareness of their Oriental Catholic ecclesial identity, leading them by the power of the Spirit to Christ-like maturity and equipping them for their evangelizing ministry in the church and in the world for the greater glory of God. Our pastoral objectives to form Eucharistic communities through sacramental life according to the Oriental Catholic Ecclesial identity of the Zero Malabar tradition to empower the children and the youth into mature disciples of Jesus Christ through catechesis imparting them proper values to foster vocations in the families by helping them to live in fellowship with God and among themselves to create strong fellowship through family units by caring and sharing for one another to equip the people by the power of the Spirit for their evangelizing ministry in the church and world in order to glorify God today the Zero Malabar churches evangelization efforts have seen fruits with the special grace of God and the intercession of Saint Thomas under the leadership of Bishop Bosco Putur let the proclamation my Lord my God of our father in faith Saint Thomas resonate in our hearts and minds forever